Leck and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of December 2021. It's 6.30 in the morning and we have 16 degrees Celsius. Welcome to the cold, cold dry season. Bananas hanging in the kitchen. And these are Cavendish. Sticky rice and bamboo. Kume is handling some of the makam. Makam. Tam makam. I'll make makam oh. Taking out the seeds. Chakayan kunme. Here are the chilies growing together with at the bottom of the papaya tree. They're like chilies growing. It's crazy. Nice. We need to cut something. I'm getting. Cut that out. We are installing uh, the water tank. Here is Ice, Crew Ice, our teacher, Thai teacher, helping with the water tank. We had some problems with the water last month, which is annoying if you go and uh, harvest the rice, which was also this uh, last month, just harvesting the rice. And after you harvest the rice, you really want a shower because you might be itchy. So water is a good thing. So we are installing the water tank. And Fabian is volunteering too, helping out too. The vegan camp is open for long-term visitors who are also vaccinated. Because vaccination is required by the Thai government and uh, we want to follow the government rules so we don't get in trouble. I arrived a couple of days ago and the, after the first day I had I, something happened with my arm and it's like really annoying. Pom chok, kin ahan Thai, ching ching. Mak mak. Mak mak. Pom chop, rian, pasa thai, gap kru, ice, gap kru, leg, gap kru, greg. Ich mag voll gern, wenn ich jetzt da bin, dass ich mit dem greg und mit dem ice und mit dem leg da thai lernen kann. I really enjoy being here and I'm able to learn the thai language with some help with English translation. Now, what I really like about this place is, first of all, I just love the food. You can have unlimited quantities of bananas and papayas right now. I just like Greg and Black and, and the place, that's why I came back. And we have winter time in Austria now, so it sucks. Fabian just finished his education from like uh, something with body, knows a lot of, about the body and he enjoys like the natural natural healing of the body of with movement and eating the right food and rest. So if you are like anywhere in the world and you're interested uh, in uh, becoming healthier and heal your body, you can uh, contact Fabian and he will take you on the journey. Maybe we'll have a workshop here or like multiple workshops where people can come and heal their bodies and uh, with teacher Fabian. Fabian's hot. Fabian's training rings. The soursop tree produced two nice soursop before and there are like more on the trees if you can spot them. And there will be a flashback and to see how it looks like when you open a, a soursop because they were ripe a couple of days ago. And were nice to eat. Funny, very nice, fun fruit to eat. It's the 28th of November. Soursop harvesting. So soft. This is the soursop. Just, you can just take off the skin like this. It's crazy. Very ripe also. Pick from the tree today. Pakadam, other greens and stuff coming up. The small fig tree is producing. Yeah, so if you just, if you just touch a fruit and it just uh, goes off, a little bit of stuff. But these are very young. The tree is young, but it's uh, quite colorful. And yeah, but the taste is a bit bland, but still fun. The first fix of the camp. The weeds were cut a week ago or so in the new land and and in the original camp where the mango trees are so this might be the last time weeds cutting in uh, th this year because we're going into the dry season the old compost area where the new papayas are growing and they are popping out uh, papayas now so we will have papayas from these trees too soon over here you can see all the mango trees are growing um, beans Actually not, the trees are not growing the beans, but you can see here and over there it's just like full of beans and even even in the background over there there are beans, beans everywhere. So the beans just climb up and you can harvest a ton of beans here now. 
Very nice with beans. Ginger tea is very nice to start your day when the mornings are cold. But the temperature will go up to 30 degrees very, very soon. And fresh orange limes. And the rest of the lime put in the glass to make the lime water. If we don't take the, the lime, it will go bitter very, very quickly. It oxidizes. I never had this problem in, in Denmark, I think. I was not, never thinking that the lime could uh, go bitter. I just put it in a box in the refrigerator. But here they go bitter extremely fast. This is like five minutes bitter. And then just put some extra water in and you have the loveliest lime water ever. Now Ruta is a bit dissatisfied that they are eating the rice, yeah? But it's it's rice for them. So Kautom eats the rice over there. Maybe also eats the rice. And you already ate. You already ate. Can you say my Naruto? Yut Naruto. My Naruto Kin Lao. Good boy. But otherwise they're playing together, everything is good.